Lorraine Atlanciak was aunt says, she is a humble child who loves to go to church. She often attends church with her grandmother and was traveling with her on this pilgrimage to Moria. Sadly, her grandmother was killed in a crash. This is what her aunt had to say. We grew up under the ZCC church and Lorraine loves church. She's a respectful, well-mannered child who is obedient. Lorraine would go to church every Sunday with a grandmother because she loves church and prays. She initially was not supposed to go to Moria because we didn't have funds to take her. However, we eventually came together as a family and managed to get her a passport to send her to Moria. Unfortunately, her grandmother was one of the people that passed away in the tragic accident. We are distraught as a family, but have faith that Lorraine will pull through and come back home. The Limpopo Health MEC says Lorraine's mother is now in Limpopo to support her. Our appeal as the Limpopo Department of Health is to the public to give the head doctors, her psychologist space to be able to assist her to go back to normal. We are also appealing to the public to allow her family which we have been able to arrange that they join her so that they can be able to deal with the current uh, tragic, especially this trauma that not only has affected her physically, but everybody else it's uh, affected uh, psychologically. So we, we need to, to deal with this matter and give it the sensitivity it deserves. She says they are working hard to ensure the families of all the victims are located. As the Limpopo Department of Health, working with all other sister departments and more especially working with the Botswana government, we have already started the process of identification uh, since a Friday, on a Good Friday, six bodies have already been positively identified by family members and also with the assistant of uh, the pastors uh, from Botswana of the St. Engenas uh, Church. We, we are now, uh, we will start to proceed with the autopsies and postmortem as early as Tuesday. Uh, we are waiting for other families who would come and assist us. But uh, as it stands, all uh, the remains will be subjected to the DNA test um, that that will uh, already, we can indicate, uh, that particular process uh, has already been initiated uh, with our Botswana counterparts who are in constant communication with our team, we can indicate uh, that they've started that process of collect DNA sampling on the other side, uh, looking at the next of kings or family members of the deceased. The former president of Botswana says this is a difficult moment for Botswana. To the families and relatives, Please accept mine and my family's heartfelt condolences and sympathies. I know that our thoughts and prayers are with all those affected by this devastating incident. Losing loved ones in such a terrible and tragic manner brings about unbearable anguish that no words can ease. I want you to know that you are not alone as families in your loss and that everyone supports you during this very difficult time. Our hearts go out to the young girl who survived. May she be showered with comfort and love during this very difficult time for her. To the families, may you find strength and solace in the memories you shared with those who are no longer with us. Their presence will forever be cherished and their spirit will live on in the hearts of all who knew them. May their souls find eternal peace. Sophie Mugwena, SABC News.